Well, and one of the most exciting things about these snails is that they do have exclusive male parental care, which you just don't see very often. And so to get the opportunity to study that is really great. Um, again, they have this extreme promiscuity. Females are just mating with enormous numbers of males, which you don't get to see. Siblings eat each other, which is always fun. And so you just have this great combination of extreme behaviors all wrapped up in one little snail. We do not know of any other example where males are um, sort of producing this costly behavior. And so you can't forget that it's not just that they're carrying eggs. It's that they're carrying eggs. They're um, highly conspicuous to birds when they do it. They, um, are, they lose a significant amount of their body weight. So they're expending a lot of energy and they're basically putting themselves at great risk for not that much return in terms of genetic offspring that they're caring for. The return so. must come that's the only way a male can signal to a female that I'm a good dad and get mating is by caring for offspring to begin with. And it doesn't mean, I mean, it would be better for him if he were his own offspring, but, you know, somebody's offspring is better than nobody's offspring, than no offspring at all.